I want to read to you another article. It is called The Six Steps to Breaking a Generational Curse. Here are the six steps that you will need to take in order to be able to receive total deliverance from any demon, demons, who may have followed you into your adult life. As a result of any severe transgressions made by one or both of your natural parents. I will first list them out, one right after the other, so that you can see exactly what you are going to have to do. And then I will show you exactly how to do each of these steps under the appropriate captions below. Here are the six steps in the order in which they must be done. Number one, the full surrender. Number two, confess the sins of your sinning parent to God the Father. Number three, be willing to fully forgive your sinning parent. Number four, break any ungodly soul ties with the sinning parent. Number five, break the curse line of the demons. Number six, verbally command the demons to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now here is a full explanation of exactly what you will need to do in each one of these steps. And then the exact battle prayer that I had given to this 16 year old girl that will have all six of these steps properly incorporated into the battle prayer itself. Number one, the full surrender. The very first thing you are going to have to do is to be willing to come into a full surrender of you and your entire life with the Lord. We have another article in our site in the Bible Basics section titled The Full Surrender. In this article, I explain to you exactly what this full surrender is all about. Give you all of the verses from scriptures, scripture to back up what God is looking for in this full surrender and then give you a good full surrender prayer that you can exactly or actually use to go before the God, the Father, to make this full surrender with him. The very first rule in spiritual warfare before you can even begin to do battle with demonic spirits is that you have to be walking and operating in a full surrender with the Lord. If you are not willing to come into his full surrender with the Lord, where he will now be the one to take over the reins of your life and lead your life into the direction that he will now want it to go in, then there will be no help and no deliverance from these demons. Here is the verse from the Bible that gives us this specific revelation. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4 and 7. Notice the first four words. Therefore, submit to God. And notice this verse starts out with this command. What this means is that you first have to be willing to fully submit to God before you can even begin to resist and fight against the devil and his demons to make them flee from you. Submitting to God means 
you have entered into this full surrender with him you have to be willing to fully surrender every part of your being to him body soul and spirit along with your entire life over to him okay again all of this is fully explained to you in our article titled the full surrender in the Bible basics section of our site if you are willing to make this full surrender with the Lord where he will now be the one who will be in total control of your life and lead it in the direction that he will now want it to go in from here on in then you will now be ready for step two confess the sins of your sinning parent to God the Father the next thing you are going to need to do is to fully confess out the sin or sins of the sinning parent to the Lord as you will see in the scripture verse I will list below God is wanting you to acknowledge and then confess out those sins direct to him here is the verse but if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their unfaithfulness in which they were unfaithful to me and that they also have walked contrary to me then I will remember my covenant with Jacob in my covenant with Isaac in my covenant with Abraham I will remember Leviticus 26 and 40 and verse 42 why would God want you to confess out the sins of your father or mother when you had nothing to do with their sins in the first place I believe the main reason could be that God may want you to know exactly why these demons are coming after you in the first place and that reason is because of the severe sins your sinning parent has committed against the Lord God wants you to have full knowledge as to what is going on behind the scenes in the spiritual realm and by confessing out what sins you know your sinning parent has committed against the Lord you are showing him that you have the knowledge and the understanding that these original sins is what has caused all of these events to occur as they have done in your own personal life in the battle prayer I will list out below this girl not only had to confess out the sins of her own natural father but she also had to confess out the sins of his father who was an abortionist responsible for the killing of thousands of unborn children if you can trace back through your family line any type of heavier sin or sins that your grandparents may have been involved in it would be my strong recommendation that you also confess out the sins of these parents or grandparents and possibly your great grandparents if you can trace some of these heavier sins that far back <coughs> when you get into this part of the prayer you just simply confess out exactly what heavier sins you know your sinning parent has committed against the Lord what heavier sins that you do not know about can also be added into the prayer to make sure that you cover all of your basics bases with the Lord I will show you exactly how to word all of this out in the battle prayer below.
Number three, be willing to fully forgive your sinning parent as a result of some of these heavier kinds of sins and transgressions against the Lord, some of the children in these types of dysfunctional families may end up getting either physically, verbally, and or sexually abused. As a result of this kind of extreme abuse, some of the children may end up harboring and holding unto deep feelings of guilt, hate, anger, rage, and unforgiveness towards the abusive, sinning parent. If those deep and intense kinds of negative feelings are not properly dealt with early on, these kind kinds of heavy negative emotions will settle down deep into the child's mental and emotional makeup and a mental stronghold will then form out giving the demons plenty of negative energy to attach to and feed on. Before you can cast the demons out you will first have to be willing to fully forgive your sinning parent for whatever they have done to you, no matter how bad, how vile, and how vicious some of their abusive acts may have been towards you. Even if you do not feel like your emotions or thoughts could possibly line up with making this kind of confession before the Lord, all God is asking from you at this time is your mental cooperation with Him on this issue and make the best effort you can to verbally and mentally forgive your parent before the Lord. Tell the Lord that you will not hold any unforgiveness towards that parent that you will that you know that your parents final judgment will rest in his hands and that you will now let that parent go into his hands for his final judgment and vindication the Bible tells us that any type of vengeance in this life will always belong to the Lord, not to us, and not to any other family members who would like to try and get even for you with the original sinning abusive parent. For those of you who think you may have a hard time in making this kind of confession before the Lord, we have another article in our site that goes much deeper into this kind of a problem. The article is titled, How to Handle Negative Feelings When Wronged by Someone. Okay. Someone else. This article is in the psychological issues sections or section of our site it would be my strong recommendation that you also read this article in this article I give you all of the appropriate verses from scriptures that deal with this kind of heavier problem and how to be able to really forgive an abuser or someone who has unjustly wronged you to a more severe degree in this life. God, through the power of the Holy Spirit operating on the inside of you, can give you an inner healing from many of these kinds of negative emotions that may have settled in on you over all of these years as a result of the abuse you may have 
had to put up with from your sinning parent. There is healing and restoration from the Lord for you if you are willing to work with him on it. The above article will show you how to be able to receive this kind of inner healing from the Lord. If you would really like to be set free from these kinds of negative emotions that will do nothing but rob you of your peace, joy, and happiness that you can have in the Lord. Now here is why you are going to have to be willing to fully forgive your sinning parent for all of the abuse that may have inflicted upon you. The following verse will tell you that before you get ready to stand and pray before the Lord, God will want you to fully forgive all of the people who have ever trespassed against you. If you can't or won't forgive those who have trespassed against you, then this verse will tell you that God will not forgive you of your own trespasses. When you trespass against other people, and with God starting out this verse with the words, and whenever you stand praying, the strong implication is really there that he may not even be willing to hear any of your prayers until you can agree to forgive all of those who have ever wronged you in this life. And, in, and if God will not be willing to hear any of your prayers, then you will have little or no chance of getting any of your prayers answered. And if you cannot get any of your own personal prayers answered with God, then you have little or no chance on getting him to deliver you from the demons who may be attacking you. Okay. This is why it is so vitally important that you be willing to fully forgive all of those who have ever hurt you, who have ever hurt, harm, or transgressed against you in any way, which will include both of your parents. If they are guilty of this and any other siblings or friends who may have hurt you in the past, here is this most solemn and powerful verse from the Lord. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that you, your Father in heaven, may also forgive your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Mark 11 and 25. If you are willing to take this step with the Lord and fully forgive your parents or parents for whatever wrongs they may have inflicted upon you, no matter how bad or vicious those wrongs may have been, then you will now be ready for step four. So let me stop at step four and this is going to be part one and the website is bibleknowledge.com so be ready for part two god bless the six steps to breaking a generational curse god bless